We got a special guest here tonight. Hey, hey, what's up guys? A Brilliant Dummy here and today I am finally going to be taking you through my bathroom makeover from start to finish. I'm just going to be adding some wallpaper, some new flooring, and of course some accessories. Um, and make sure you stay till the end because I will be doing a DIY LED mirror. So you don't want to miss that. So let's get into it. Alright, so the very first thing that I did was um, I found this stick and peel wallpaper on Amazon um, and I wanted to see how it would look in the space so I actually ended up ordering one roll and then just put it on the wall to see if the quality was good, if it looked right in the space. Um, and yeah, it, it turned out good once I put everything, I put the strip on the wall, I loved it um, and so I just ended up going ahead and ordering the rest of the rolls. So while I was waiting for the rest of the wallpaper to come in, I decided to start working on the bathroom vanity. Um, I did not want to leave it that color because it was just too bland. Uh, so I actually decided to go with the black contact paper. Um, I wanted to do something renter friendly because uh, I don't own the space. So I didn't want to like paint something black um, and then have to repaint it whenever I moved out. So I was just like, oh, I'll just go with a black contact paper. Um, it was super easy to install and put in. Um, as you can see, just like a few cuts, measure it out, um, and then just peel it and stick it. <laughs> so, uh, I'm taking off the, um, handles as well, because they had to go. Just everything had to go in here. So, um, yeah, once I got that off, it didn't take long to put in. And, uh, now I'm about to head to the store to go find some handles. Alright, so the rest of the wallpaper finally came so we can finish installing it. Got my dad helping me. Um, like I said, it's super easy to install. You just stick, peel it on the wall. Uh, you should have a wall scraper for wallpapers, but I just had a sponge, but it's, it still worked. Um, so now, when it comes to weird spaces like sockets and all that, um, what you want to do is remove the covers for the socket. Um, and then once you do that, you just want to basically like cut around that socket um, so that it, you know, everything flushes uh, well and it looks semi, you know, professional. But yeah, you just want to take a box cutter or scissors and then just cut around that opening. Um, and then once you have that, just want to put your covers back on and that's that looks super neat super professional um, nothing's all weird sticking out so you know that's how it goes all right and like that the bathroom walls are done came out super fresh um i was running to one issue where the lines just weren't lining up um the walls were uneven so it wasn't even me but i'm going to take some boxwood panels so stay tuned later to see how that turns out <laughs> So this particular tile I found on Amazon, again, um, I will have the link in the description. It's a, just a stick and peel tile I'm going to be putting down so it can kind of mesh with the wallpaper. Got a black and white mosaic style. Um, so yeah, I'm about to put this down. So before I actually put the tile down, I'm going to be putting it over poster board. And this is something I found on YouTube that's just renter friendly. So I decided to do it. Half of the tile is done and I just went ahead and 
put the rest of the poster board down so that I can finish this off. Alright, so now here comes the fun part um, of putting floor tile down. Um, when you get to like really small corners or you got to cut corners and stuff, um, basically what you want to do is measure the distance between like the wall and then where the tile um, ends and then you just want to measure that same space out on the back of your tile. Um, and this particular tile is just easy to cut either with scissors or um, you know a box cutter like I have here so I just measured it out cut it and boom it fits so uh, same thing when you going around the toilet I just like eyeballed it and <laughs> did you know you just you, you figure it out but you can just cut around um, until it fits Alright, so 20 hours later, <laughs> uh, it's done. It didn't take me that long, um, but everything's done. It meshes well with the wallpaper. Now it's time to go buy some assistance. Yo, brothers, respect mine. I ain't gonna take much. Wow, move from the gate now. I saw this cool LED mirror at Ikea and I was like, yo, I can make that myself. So I did. <laughs> so to make this, you basically need like two items. Um, you're going to need some LED strip lights, preferably one with the remote. And you're going to need some light diffuser channels. And I will have those in the description below. Alright, so the first thing I did was cut the diffuser channels with the jigsaw. Um, so they could fit around you know, my medicine cabinet. Um, I tried to <laughs> screw them in, but it just wasn't working. So I just thumb tacked them in. Um, it was that easy. Um, they come with these brackets, and then you basically just take the channel and pop them in the brackets to hold them in place. So those are in place. Next, you just, um, I'm peeling the light strip. Um, it comes with the adhesive backing. So I just unpeeled that, and then I just stick it right on the channels once they're in and loaded um, you just slide the covers on and that's it Hey guys thanks for watching my bathroom makeover don't forget to subscribe below to get more home decor and cool diy videos um, also make sure you like share with a friend who might need some inspiration and follow me over on instagram at a brilliant dummy peace